First time pole vaulting in a meet. One scoop and Count the M&M's in that one and then count, I bet you they're within three M&M's. It's the last chance to make it to counties. I love it. I hate it. Good morning, Kate. What's up? Good morning, Brennan. Brennan's in the car getting ready to drive to school. Big day today. Whoa. Hey, Brennan. Whoa. He's making the car dance to the music. I'm gonna turn it down for a quick second. Good morning, Brennan. Hello. Brennan has um, AP environmental science test today. No. You said apes. I have two. Oh, and? Gov. AP Gov. Which happens first? Gov. All right, what time now? At 7.30. When you get there, oh gosh. Oh, we gotta get there. So wait, so you have that for that test first and then you have a break and then you have another one? Yeah. So you won't have any classes today. I have one that's 55 questions and then I have four FAQs for the ape, for the gov and then um, 100 questions for the apes. Oh my gosh. And then I think it's six, now, six or four FAQs. Wow. All right, and then Katie has a meet today. Katie, big day today. Mm -hmm. First time pole vaulting in a meet. Pretty excited about that. It could either be really good or really bad, so. Okay, we will have, we have no expectations, just the Thank joy you. of watching you try it the first time. What? Okay. I mean, I've tried it before, but like. We'll try and get the first time in a competition, in a metered competition. Sure. How about that? And then Ryan, Ryan has golf today, so he'll be out there golfing. And you, practice today. you practiced today. Very nice. And I have, look at what I have. I have a swollen <laughs> eye. Yeah, look, well, it's getting worse. Ew, it's terrible. Mom, don't show the camera that. Oh, sorry, don't look, you guys. No offense, but if I was a viewer, I would All right. stop watching this. Wait, just All right, don't watch anyone. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, you guys, quick trip to the grocery store. Gonna get some milk and anything for breakfast. And then some fruit and snacks and maybe dinner tonight. So here we go. Snack made in heaven, Dad. Snack made in heaven. All right, this is Dad. Do you want to share with us your snack hack? Well, we have a problem here in the house, and uh, it revolves around pulling the M and M's out of the okay, trash. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. False. Ah, what? Action. Oh. <laughs> that was like two years ago when I when I would pick all the M and M's up. <laughs> Everyone does, except for mom and dad. So, we don't grab, we pour, and when we don't pour, we scoop. So we scoop one, and then we scoop two. No, there's way more And we is. don't look. Oh. We no, don't look. Way no, wait, wait. One scoop and Count the M&Ms in that one, and then count, I bet you they're within three M&Ms. No, they're not. One, so, two, three, anyway, four. Anyway, that's what we're doing. This is my hack. Then you have clean snacks. You don't have cooties in your, uh, <laughs> And you tell us everyone's happy. It's yes. good. Why do you act like I'm eight? And I don't want to pick the M&M's out. What the no, cooties? Are you 13? What? No, I'm sorry, you're not a teenager. Uh. No, you only talk. Wow. All right, you guys, cootie-free trail mix. You heard me here first. Do this. Wait. Look. Bam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam, and then we eight, collect nine, them right eight, here. Eleven. In our eleven. drawer, so when you need a snack, you one, two, grab two, and go. That has six. That has eleven. Uh, Another bonus here is when you get to the end of the trail mix, you don't have, you're not done with the... The lowly nut that nobody wants without any ham and eggs. Oh, so right. Good stuff at the end. Yes, if you mix it up that way. Boom. Good job, Dad. Boom. Hey, you guys. So I'm here at Katie and Brennan's school. I'm dropping off lunch for Brennan. He wanted a meatball hoagie, or meatball sub, you guys might call it, and a Dr. Pepper, which is probably the most disgusting thing I can ever imagine. But, and I also threw in some baby carrots, because I thought that might be good for nutrition. <laughs> anyway, he has two AP exams today, as you guys already heard, and the lunch is in the middle. And we didn't have any groceries, that's why I went grocery shopping this morning after I dropped them off from school. So he wasn't able to make a sandwich and his lunch, blah, 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 so I thought it'd be nice to bring him a treat. 
So I brought him that, and then Katie, she's texting me now, yes, I am here. Katie um, texted me that her bus for her um, track meet today leaves at 2.30, which is like right after school ends, so she wasn't gonna have time to come home and get her bag like she did last time, so I brought her bag with some snacks and her energy chews and all that stuff for her meet, so I'm gonna go drop that off right now to them right now. Hey, right, you guys, there's Katie right there. Running the other way, she's warming up. Do you want to pretend to be Josiah? And I guess I, I would imagine that she's figuring out all of her steps. All right, you guys, so we're here at the track meet. It's called the Last Chance Track Meet. And it's the last chance to make it to counties. And Katie has not done the pole vault yet, so in competition. So this is her last chance as she was learning it all season. It's her last chance to. Um, vault to make it to county, so I'm so excited to see her vault. It's wicked cool. So here we go. Here we are uh, waiting on Ryan Ardo and Christian, uh, picking them up from school. Today's Monday, so they have golf directly after school. So just waiting on Ryan Ardo to get rolling here, and uh, we're heading across. Okay, we got Ryan Ardo in the, in the car. We've got Christian in the car. Hey, Christian. Hi. Oh, Ryan. Beautiful, beautiful spring day. Uh, golf practice today. I haven't golfed in a week. Oh. That's too long for me. Yeah, gonna be out of practice a little bit, huh? No, I mean not out of practice. I just love golf, so. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Katie has got to track me. She's gonna pole vault today. No, that's crazy. I've crazy. seen people do that. If you do that, you know someone who does that. That's crazy. Pole vault. You just like stick it in, and then you just. Ooh. What if you're running and you go, oh, you get to the top and go, oh, you didn't go over the top. Yeah. Do you fall back? I've seen so many pole vault fails on Instagram. Really. Oh geez, they're so funny, but still. Let's hope that's, Katie's that's not one crazy. of them. Yeah, right. That's crazy though. How do you just mm, like pull yourself up? You I guess we're gonna so find out. That. Yeah, I you wanna know? see it. That's crazy. All right. Uh, good news about uh, the kitty cat. I remember Katie tore it off uh, a few weeks ago. I what? brought it, took it out. The cat right there. Oh, oh. I um, glued her head back on, and then I epoxied her to the. Why is that good news? I hate that thing. That's a great cat. And I hate a, that thing. That's the Flex mascot. <laughs> it's so weird. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see Katie how Katie's made doing. That, like six years ago. I know. I love it. <laughs> I hate it. I love it. 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 I hate it. jump the first one she did not make but the second one she did make what I'm understanding is that maybe you get three chances to jump and if you make it then you wait for the next one but if you don't make it you get three chances so she did it on her second one so a couple girls did their third and did not make it so now um, she's waiting until they're done now I'm assuming they move it up one more foot we'll take a look
you guys, that was super duper fun. Kate did not, she tried three times, of course, and did not make the seven foot six inch, um, but neither did the other girl. So my understanding is that the person who took, who missed the least wins that. I'm not sure how that goes, but I'm just so super proud of her for jumping um, today for the first time and making it that is awesome. So hopefully she'll have a fun career in pole vaulting as well. All right, thanks for watching you guys. I'm gonna head back to pick up Brennan, take him to water polo, and I have a water polo meeting tonight, and then we will um, hopefully see um, Ryan golfing a little bit because he's over at golf practice. Oh my gosh, anyway. Um, I'm hungry, I don't mind telling you. I'm craving a beet salad. I'm hoping to find a beet salad, but I don't think I'll find it before water polo because I have about 15 minutes to get home and get running. And that's about exactly how far I am away from our house. <laughs> it is rush hour though, so it might take even a little longer. All right, so stay tuned. I'll let you know if I get my beet salad. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Hang in there. Yo. How'd you go? Uh, pretty well. Yeah, excellent. We're back. Yo. Nice lighting. Good job taking all your stuff. How about you, the big man on campus? I'm carrying clothes because I wear these school by the way. Yeah, okay. What about your shoes? You're gonna put your shoes? Yeah, can I just make one trip then? All right. <laughs> oh, All right, there's Ronaldo. Always say to put his uh, golf shoes back in his bag each time. Yeah, so like they're always there for you, right? You get mad. Well, yeah, because, yeah. yeah. There they go. I love that it's not dark yet. Because I know. In the winter, it's already pitch black by now. Right. It's like hours and hours of dark. Exactly. And now it's hours and hours of light, huh? All right, so uh, Ryan is home doing homework, and I got a call from Jill that said, hey, I forgot about Kate. Can you go pick her up from the track meet? So the bus came back, and I was able to get here before, actually just as the bus got here. So just waiting for Katie to see how she did while she was pole vaulting. I think she pole vaulted for the first time. So if you know anybody who pole vaults, would you uh, share this video with them to um, have them comment on tips for pole vaulting for Katie. So I hope she did well. I was across uh, with Ryan doing the golf thing and uh, Brennan had to go over to water polo. So mom went over there. So very typical. Hey there. Who was in this car? Who was in this car? Yeah. There was a bird in here earlier. No, there's no Ryan. <laughs> Are we you sure? We don't play that game with you. I was going to say, I for sure just heard Ryan in here. I swear <laughs> I did. I swear I did. Hi, okay. Kate. Hi, Dad. All right, go. Pretty well. Did you pull ball? I did. Were you nervous? Um, no, not really. Why? I don't really get nervous anymore after I did gymnastics for nine years. Yeah. Less of the fewer people. About sports, at least. Yeah. Um, how far did you, uh, did you go? I vaulted seven feet. <laughs> but in practice, I've done eight and a half. Really? So, like, I don't know. But I'm definitely doing winter track next year, indoor track, so I can do pole vault. And then fall, so I can do pole vault again. Why did you do seven and not eight and a half? Do they just also, go? it was so weird. There was no runway. Oh. Like, you know how there's normally like a little, like, there's like a runway? Yeah. There was none. We had to do it on the turf. Really? Like grass? Yes. Not grass, turf. Did that slow you down? No. Was it no, artificial? Because there, like there was like a box and everything, but it was like an art, it was like an artificial turf. Wow. I'm looking really cross right now. I'm really sorry about that. It's just been a long day. Did you do something with your. No. Just make it fun. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Love that. Um, well, great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, are you going to do it again tomorrow? Pole vaulting? Um, no. Oh, wasn't it like a Wednesday, Thursday meet? Something like that? Yeah, but this is the last meet. Oh. Are you done completely now? Yeah. Except no, because I have to jump at counties and then uh. possibly regionals and then possibly states. But no, um, but no pole vaulting? No, sorry. Um, were you happy with seven feet? Yeah, I mean it was my first time ever pole vaulting at a meet, so yeah, it was pretty good. I got second, so. What was the highest? Seven. Oh really? I like tied for like. Like. Well, why did you get top. second? Why did you get first? Because the girl who got first got seven, 
in less tries than I did, and I got seven in less tries than third place, and third place got seven in less tries than fourth oh, place. Oh, I see. In fourth place, it was like top four were seven. Yeah. And also, it was like kind of like not a very good meet, but like. How many tries did you have to? You get three tries for every height. Oh, so do you just slowly go up? Yeah. Oh, cool. What did you start at? Five six, which is like super super low. Yeah. But like it was my first time doing it, so. Yeah. Why not? I sent it. So five six, and then what'd you go? Five six 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 seven seven six, and then we just couldn't make it. Didn't make it over seven six. Oh, that's great. So that's multiple jumps then, huh? Yeah. Uh, did you get more and more confident each time? No. Huh. <laughs> what did you learn uh, through the whole process? Just stuff that I learned at practice. Like, I mean, I learned like how they do pole vaulting at meets because I didn't know. All right. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. That's great. It's really fun. Congrats. It's something new, you know? Yeah. Excellent. I'm proud of you. new and different. Good for you. Thank you. All right. Uh, hey, there's chicken on the grill. Next up. Summer swim team. Summer swim I'm team. I'm so excited for summer swim team. I don't think you understand. <laughs> uh, we should, we should just work it out. You ready? Yes. I'm so ready. Except I still have to jump. Oh. Uh, and I still have to go to practice. And we still have to do sprint workouts. Oh. Uh, so I'll be working out until after counties or regionals or states, depending on if I go to any of them. I mean, I'm going to regional. I mean, it means counties. But. Uh, that's this month, yes? You'll be in good shape by the time summer comes. I hope so. I was just saying, if I had the same like arm length and was as tall as Brennan, or was like Brennan's like body mass? Absolutely not. So if he was just me, I'd clap him. Yeah, basically. So I'd clap him. <laughs> so if he had your body, he's saying he'd clap him. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, oh, nice. Really? I think you'd tie him. If you had his yeah, body I'd and everything, probably, you'd probably, probably tie. tie. No, if I had my personality and my quick quickness. Oh, oh, I see. Look at his fast hands. Show us your fast hands. Ah. Oh, oh, where did they go? Oh, oh I can't oh, even see them. Oh, oh. oh I can't oh. even see them. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, you didn't see that, that hook coming, did you? I hit with a jack, and I hit you under, you dropped your hand like, I didn't, oh. I didn't drop my hand, so my hand was right here the whole time. Come on, come here, come here. Ryan, you're good at that. No, I, I should sign you up for boxing. The only thing is, no. is I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want to box, but I want to punch you. <laughs> You want a punching bag? Yeah, punching. We should get a punching bag. Because, I mean, I'd get destroyed. Because <coughs> my arms are. Yeah, because who would Ryan box against? Well, you box against other kids who are 50 pounds. He'd box against the thing that comes back. 50 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> He'd box against other 10 year olds. If you, if you like, you oh, punch right. other 10 year olds who can beat him. They would not, because you're good. I, Ryan, I'm just I teasing you. Like you're ten, awesome. You box against like the seven, the seven <clears> what you do is it's like wrestling. You box against people that same way you're same weight. I know you know that. So You don't have to be the same age, you're just the same weight. I know, but what if you box like a four-year-old? <laughs> okay. That'd be fair. He'd win. He'd win because he's smarter yeah, and tough. Really? Nice. Well, maybe you should Oh, it's like huge. <laughs> and just one question out of the face. No, I don't think that's going to come off of me. Maybe you should stick with golf and a punching bag. How about that? Oh, that makes mom feel better. No, I want a punching bag actually. Because I remember my friend had a punching bag and it was so sick. Every time I would go to his house, it was a punching bag. It was so sick. And it's like yeah. a good workout. It is a good workout. It hurts your knuckles. Mm. What's up, guys? This is Brennan. Days coming to an end. And what made me happy today was getting all my AP tests. Oh, mine's not down here. Got all my AP tests done out of the way. I don't think I'll be doing anything in those classes. Ryan, there you are. What made you happy today, bro? What made me happy today was getting out to golf. Uh, Pretty much it. Being back at school with my friends was all right. Oh my And right. I leveled up. Mr. Like I know this is gonna sound really stupid, but in BTD battles, I leveled up on Monkey hey. Apprentice hey. To, the, to the fire, hey. to the fire boys. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hey. Cool. All right, Katie, Kate. It's time for bed. Did you finish all your homework? Mm-hmm. What are you eating there? Almonds. Oh, are they good? I can smell them. Are they, oh, those are the um, salt and vinegar ones. So we'd like you to share what made you happy today, please. <laughs> um, what made me happy today? Pole ball time. Yay! Of course. 
You look wow. pretty happy over there. Actually, a couple different times you were smiling right before you ran, which was cool. And then afterwards you were pretty really? happy. Yes, it was very cute. You probably won't be able to see because when I was videoing, there was light behind you. So it's not very good, mm. but you could see what you were doing. And that made me happy today too. It was fun watching you. Would you like to take us out? Hold on, I'm on like a roll right now. Oh. Wow. I haven't missed one in a while. You could hold a record for that. I wish there was a sport of that. You're very good at it. I can just like go for the world record for like most almond serving mouth in 60 seconds or something. But you've also done like grapes. You've also done peanuts. Oh, whoa. That nice. Was like, that was like a screwed up one and I still And you it. caught it. I don't understand. It's really good hand eye coordination. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should play softball or something. Or basketball. It's not that. Oh. Oh, 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 oh that wow. That was also a bad one. Wow. Jeez, what number are you on? I don't know. Let's we'll go back and count because I think we've yeah. been videoing the whole time. Okay, guys, comment down below. Hold on, no, hold on. You cannot stop. Right? I'm saying, comment down below how many almonds Katie has caught. By the end of this, how many Katie, how many almonds Katie has caught? Because I don't know the number. I only missed the first one. That's the only one I missed. It's right there. Hold on. It's right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't mess her up. Don't mess her up. No. No, try me at any. Oh, I'm on Katie. a Katie. Try me at any nutrition challenge. Look. <laughs> Ryan, you can um, box her. You're going to put that in your mouth? No. Oh, I can really. Okay, good. Yeah, I think not the last one to take me. Hold on. Look, I don't even like to. Oh, oh it popped off I your teeth. I got blinded by the light. Popped off your teeth. All right, you guys, comment below what made you guys happy today and share this video with Wait, someone on, right, right. who you would like to make Wait, happy too. The finishing touch, ready? <laughs> Was that a double? Oh, oh gling, gling, oh, gling, oh. gling, gling, gling. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.